somebody call for a fast pass? Better run fast. <laughs> See you, new kid. You're new, huh? Better keep tabs on you so you don't screw around. Okay, but no screwing around. I told you not to screw around. Maybe don't screw around this time. Well, okay then. <laughs> Okay, now don't go screwing around. Come back tomorrow, eh? Oh, hi, you're the new kid, right? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. I put in the extra hour staying after school for troubled kids like- As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about... Sex? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in, um, uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid, it's, it's really simple when, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply, you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short, but... Well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now uh, uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short. Okay. So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't, you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. 
Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. My parents were out partying until 3 a.m. last night. WTF? Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. Time to move. <laughs> Man, that made my ears pop. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to fuck you up. Ow. You okay, Super Crank? Sure, I'm fucking fabulous. Yeah, I don't even wanna fight these guys. What if I get contact drunk? Don't be scared, bug boy. It's just a little taste of your future. Always happy to lend my unique talents to the cause. Not sure unique is the right word. <laughs> my two blank mouth parts are a gape in amazement. Dude, you are trying way too hard. <laughs> that sucks for you, new kid. You're burning like that battle bush. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. <laughs> That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. Here I go. Mega Bomb Hut. Congrats, Super Prince. Let's mess with some physics. Sample now. Dude, dial it back. Great, come on. Bravo, great job, etc. etc. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. We're spreading some good chaos today. Triple A chaos. Move along, we're creating chaos. Yes, leave us to our chaos.
Well, what do we have here? Welcome to my man cave, kid. Well, more like my man kitchen. Remember Capri, son? Oh, those are the greatest. What's new, new kid? Still giving everyone the silent treatment? Let's take a selfie and be Coonstagram friends, new kid. Nice one!
I'm so glad to meet such a young art enthusiast. Hey there! Ah, tell me! Your gaming bug! See that red crack? You can't break that with your snapping pops. You're gonna need an explosion! Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, here, Forthy, Forthy. Help Jimmy finish up his big project, and sure, I'll take a selfie. I feel like I've been waiting three years for this bus. Oh, hey, kiddo. Hope you're keeping... Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm going to upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm going to let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Elementalist. Psychic. Cyborg. Cyborg. More machine than man. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. 
Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the baby that, for some reason, was loitering in your hallway. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the bridge jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> I'm so enraged right now. Well, somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm... I'm so pissed! Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. Magnets even work. The remaining foe laid into you. It was time to bring out the big guns. Oh man, yeah, that's big gun. He's more machine than man. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. I saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's a cooning friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! This way, butthole. Toward the bus stop. It's the quickest route. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, uh, god damn it. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movies. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. 
You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! You're making a big mistake messing with Kunin, friends. Ready to pummel enemies at max speed. Ace yourself. Huh, who to infect? That was epic. I am Wonder Tweak, champion of justice. What? That's gay. Ah. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. You don't have to be on their side, new kid. My turn. Make it this much a rule. Car. Car. I will run you down if you don't fucking move. Fuck you, dude. You. All clear. Now it's my turn. Maybe that'll knock some sense into you. Let's take things fast. <laughs> Ever get the feeling life is punishing you for being a dick, Tweak? No! I'm ready to suck ass and take names. Wait, that didn't come out right. my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who is getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Hey, new kid, where to? meetings today. Uh, you don't have any meetings today, ma'am. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. Don't forget the health department wants you to come to their meeting this week, ma'am. Oh, Christ. Tell them I got diarrhea. Maybe if the mayor follows you.
seen you, kid. Where to? Oh, awesome. There you go. 